I don't know what this is. Y'all about to put me on. Y'all been said. Watch Tier Zoo. We gonna peep. Bro, animals have superpowers, chat. Oh, sh Bro, I'm not gonna lie. To be able to swallow something that has more girth than your fucking body is crazy, bro. Good lord. Like, these things be different, bro. Zoo tier. Okay, let's see what this is, bro. Our horns OP, our hermit crabs OP, the bird tier list. How humans broke the game. The snake tier list. Oh <laughs> Snakes are one of the most feared classes in the game. Yes. With a number of powerful builds and a vast array of uniquely lethal abilities. Yes. However, some of these strategies have clearly been more successful than others. So in this video, yes. which was sponsored by Curiosity Stream, we'll be going over the snake tier list to see which builds Shut up, whatever high. Curiosity Stream before is. Before we bro. get into looking at specific snake builds, let's do an overview of the basic attributes and Bro, I'm not gonna lie, to be able to swallow something that has more girth than your body is crazy bro good lord like god damn these snakes be different bro question mark what do you mean why are your mind so weird special abilities like, like, that's weird champ chat has access to as well as a quick rundown of the history of the snake faction snake faction so, snakes are one of the newer factions that's in a the skank game. That is, that's a skink, right? Little legs. Joining the game's roster during the latter part of the Mesozoic expansion, they began as a niche offshoot of the Lizard faction that was specifically yeah. adapted to burrowing gameplay. Yeah. And in order to best min-max for the most efficient burrowing, this player base eventually opted to completely player drop the base. legs attribute. This ended up being a far more successful gambit than anyone could have anticipated, as it not only granted these lizards better burrowing ability, but also opened up a bunch of other strategies to them. What the? While the snake build first hit the scene during a metagame dominated by dinosaurs, they talking about metagame? Like what the hell? While the snake build first hit the scene during a metagame dominated by dinosaurs, they yes. didn't become a huge threat in the meta until after the main dinosaur powerhouses. <laughs> they didn't become a huge threat in the meta. I feel like I'm listening to Pokemon, bro. I feel like I'm watching like a history of Pokemon competitive video, bro. Were banned in the KT balance patch. During <laughs> <laughs> bro, 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 nah, this, this, this channel's dumb, bro. Balance patch. Bro, th this that's the whole channel? Bro. In this chaotic post bandwave meta, Snake players experimented with some crazy builds, including the giant Titano Boa build. What? But while Titano Boa's giant size granted it short term success, I think the strategies that the Snake player base went on to specialize in are even more effective. Okay. Fast forward to today's meta, and snakes are one of the most successful predator factions in the game, owing this success <laughs> to a handful of powerful, unique abilities. Jesus. The most obvious of these is Slithering, Slithering yep. the snake's unique mobility option that it gave. Bro, I always wanted an iridescent snake. What, what type of snake is this, chat? Any any reptile lovers? What's that fucking iridescent fucking black snake? What's it called? 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 To go, to go. Come on, come on, someone, someone. Bro, whoever says the name of the snake breed that I'm talking about, like it gets big as fuck and it's iridescent. Bro, stop it, bro. Please, someone tell me. It gets big as fuck, bro. Bro, I hate when I forget, shit, bro. I'm calling Jordan. You guys don't know. Jordan, answer the fucking phone. Anaconda. Yo, Jordan. Uh? What was your. F <laughs> what, what was your favorite snake? <laughs> Bro, why you answer the phone like that, bro? I'm like, what? <laughs> uh, 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 what's your favorite snake called again? Like, the iridescent one? Uh, snake called. I don't even remember. Um, uh, bro, I fell asleep in the car. I'm in the garage. You're in the garage? Yeah. Bro, you're going through it, bro. What's the name of the snake, bro? Bro, I really don't remember. Jordan, uh, we used to talk about it every day. Josh, I literally just woke up. And I fell asleep at 12.01. It is 12.33. I do not remember what that snake is called. You're going to have to give me a second. Uh, um. Black Mexican. No. That's sick. Python. Sunbeam. No. It wasn't no sunbeam, bro. 
No, it was a black iridescent snake. Yes, bro. I'm gonna be stuck on this, bro. It's a something python. Uh, Which python was it? It starts with a B, like it's someone's name. It's like, that was been. Oh, no, white lipped python. White lipped! Wait, was it a white lipped? Yes, it was a white lipped. Oh, thank you, Jordan. How do you remember? You just It just came to you? There's another name for it, so it's like called like a. Orleans Python or something. Yeah, the like boy. Yeah, yeah, that one. That, that's the name I was thinking about. That's the name I was thinking about. All right, appreciate you. I'm gonna come inside now. Yeah, come inside, Jordan. Bye. So you picking up Jordan at six? A Jeremy at six a.m. Thanks. Okay, bye. <laughs> in exchange for losing its legs. At first glance, this might seem extremely limiting, as snakes yes. cannot jump and move more slowly. Oh my god, there's no way they just did this. At first glance, this might seem extremely I limiting, this video? as snakes cannot jump and move more slowly than they would if they could run. And while those are significant limitations, the ability to slither does open up a lot of other Dragon options. Dragonflies are hideous. Rather than jumping over barriers, snakes can oftentimes find a way to slither through them. This gives snakes access to a lot of areas of the Literally map that are normally hideous. much more difficult to access, and means things like dens, nests, and other player-constructed bases are often less Ironic. effective at keeping snake what? players out, which makes them one of the best classes at spawn killing. Slithering spawn? They call that bitch spawn killing! They just- Yo, these- the Nah, they got it. They different, 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 they different. Things like dens, nests, and other player-constructed bases are often less effective at keeping snake players out, which makes them one of the best classes at spawn killing. Slithering also allows a comparatively large build to remain very close to the ground yes. and benefit from the stealth bonus of even the shortest grass and foliage. Mm -hmm. Despite not having claws, snakes make for highly effective climbers, making it very difficult to ever truly get out of reach of a snake. Yes. Still, as a rushdown option, slithering tends to be too slow to reliably catch up to other players. Okay. So, while snakes may not have the ability to chase you down, they've spec their movement kit to ensure that nowhere is ever truly safe from them, and if you let your guard down, they'll be poised to capitalize oh, on Oh, shit! A snake's basic strike Cut is a little lacking. on the weak side for such a dangerous predator. Their bites can't deal that much damage turtles. on their own and are yeah. easily blocked by I fought with turtles, bro. I, I've had so many turtles in my life. I've, I fought with turtles, bro. Turtles got W armor. Bites can't deal that much damage on their own and are easily blocked by armor. It's for this reason that armor. snakes tend to spec into various venom effects to infuse their bites with. Yep. Snake venom can have a variety of status effects. Status we'll effects? More and we progress through the no but in general, no venom way, greatly bro. increases the damage potential a snake can deal with its bite. Yep. Without this, many snakes would have no means They'd of defense be useless. Yep. and would be completely helpless when caught out in the open. Yep. Instead, snakes are one of the most feared classes in the game. But which snakes should be feared the most? Okay, talk to me. That, let's get into the tier list. Talk to me. F so tier. the lower tiers on this list contain gardens, members of the snake right? faction known as Colibrids. This is the largest group of snakes and contains almost every snake build in the game, except for the ones you're actually afraid of. Okay. Starting at the very bottom of this group, we have the Garter Snake, one of the weakest snake builds in the game. Yeah. Data miners are actually unsure whether or not this build is venomous, but if it is, it's some of the weakest venom in the game. And with no well, I've seen this in my yard a few times growing up, bro. And but they were big and I was scared of it, bro. Their offensive abilities, the garter snake essentially only has favorable matchups against things far smaller than it, like frogs and mice. Because they're so vulnerable, garter snake players love to attack aquatic targets like yep. tadpoles and small be, fish. Yep. But they have no actual abilities that synergize with this playstyle. Nor is Fucking a particularly grunts. good swimmer, dog and shit. therefore takes on considerable risk when they venture into the water. Fucking Garter dog shit! What are you good at? Caught in an endless loop of wasting a ton of evolution points, evolving extreme toxin resistance to the poison of a specific newt build. This isn't very What's efficient, but I guess the Garter Snake needs to preserve its few favorable matchups. <laughs> Next in F tier, we have the Racer Snake. This okay, is a snake shitty. build that put an above average number of evolution points into mobility, making okay. it one of the fastest snake builds in the game. That's not really saying a lot given that snakes tend to have pretty poor movement speed, mm -hmm. but credit where credit is due, this does give them a much better chance of dashing into cover when under attack. Okay. Unfortunately, as with a lot of mobility centric builds, this alone Jesus. isn't enough to make them competitively viable. Bro, cats is on. In fact, even with their above average slithering speed, they're usually still too slow to chase down many of their preferred attack targets. They're yeah, also chasing down no lizard, my boy. Snakes, making them one of the few snakes that can be countered yeah, by so dog shit. climbing so they're out just of reach. Dog shit. In almost all cases, a snake's worst match oh, yeah, is against it's birds. It's a fucking bird. You're not doing shit against this motherfucker. For the racer snake, yeah, you're took. Speed usually isn't much use against yeah, a took. surprise aerial attack. Their lack of practical applications for their signature abilities plants them firmly in F tier for me. 
They need, they need a buff though. Next vine on the tier snake. Is we have the vine snake. Um, now there are many highly effective arboreal snake builds. What are these things good at? They're not the vine good at anything. Isn't terrible. What are they good it's at? It's got then? great stealth and is an excellent. Oh yeah, the stealth. Oh yeah, you got you got to give it to the stealth. You got to give it to the stealth. Look at the color and look at the environment and say You got to give it to the stealth. You got to give it to something. You got to be better than look at the stealth. But I mean, <laughs> just look at this thing, with the lowest HP and defensive stats of any. Yeah, yeah, it has zero. It has zero HP. It has zero defense, zero health, zero special defense. You saw me when I was legit. Y'all saw how skinny I was. This is that right there. Snake. No, no, no defense. Absolutely any attack. Vine snakes entrust their survival to their above average stealth stat. But if that fails and the vine snake yeah, is then discovered, grits. Then they grits. resort to intimidation. Their and ain't nobody scared of that, bro. consists of sticking out their brightly colored tongue as a warning. Much like with the blue tongued skink, I don't consider blue this tongue skinks are fine. I used to want a blue tongue to be a particularly effective defensive display, especially when this warning is backed by some of the. Bro, what the fuck is that? What was it? Snake faction. Fucking pussy. Definitely not F tier due to its decent camouflage, but with nothing else going for it, it's stuck in D tier. Okay. Next tiger in D tier, we back. have the Tiger Keel. Whoa. Back. This snake build breaks the mold when it comes to toxic strategies in snakes, Whoa. as rather than dumping all of its evolution points into them, that look, that should look the Keel crazy. Back also allocates some of its resources into becoming poisonous, meaning that they can inflict the toxic status effect both when dealing damage and when taking damage. Okay. This extra defensive ability definitely raises the keelback's ranking compared to most colubrid snakes. Yeah. However, overall, it's still not that great. Why not? Both their venom and their That's poison venom. aren't all that potent, and it's possible that oh. going all in on one of these strategies might have been the better play in the long run. Still, the keelback strategy does mitigate one of the colubrid faction's main weaknesses, though, which is that they have a hard time using their venom defensively. Many colubrids, including the vine snake and okay. keelback, are venomous. This is useful because, I mean, how else would a snake barely thicker than a piece of spaghetti deal any damage, right? Yep. The problem is, colubrids lack the efficient venom delivery abilities found in the more dangerous snakes. Write this down, birds. chat. Write this their down. Fangs are potency at the back of their mouths, L potency. And these fangs don't actually inject venom. The venom is just kind of part of their saliva, so to deal any damage with it, they need to really chew on their target for a good chunk yeah, of time. Yeah, that's not that's As you might not expect, that this efficient. makes individual strikes from most venomous colubrids quite harmless, yeah. as they don't contain much yeah. venom per hit, and they also can't really use their fangs unless they get a really solid bite in. Yep. So the keelback's poison does sort of cover for this weakness, which is great, and for that, it gets to the top of D tier. However, top a defensive of D, poison even is with by no means poison? the only way to mitigate the drawbacks of having rear fangs. D? As we'll see as we move out of the low tier and into mid tier. Okay, talk to me. At Boom the bottom slang. of C tier, we have the Boom Slang, the most venomous snake build. What is this background music from? What is this background music from? At the bottom of C tier, we have the Boom Slang, the most venomous Black snake Ops build. Black Ops 2? Oh, fact. shit, that shit this hit me like a truck. It kind of just bro. does everything the Vine Snake does, but better. It's an excellent climber and has great camouflage, but also packs a devastating Damn. bite with extremely overpowered venom for its tier in terms of potency. And while it does have rear fangs, they're significantly larger than most colubrids. Okay. But its best adaptation is that the Bwemslang can open its mouth far wider than most snakes. FNAF. Bro, this isn't FNAF. Allowing it to deliver a venom-infused bite in no, spite of the ew, unfavorable no. location of its fangs. No. This allows the Bwemslang to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with high-tier builds like the stop. Chameleon. Eating the Chameleons! As well as let it use its potent venom. A Chameleon is a high-tier build? I don't think Chameleon is that high-tier. As a defensive threat rather than solely just a hunting tool. I mean, now, they are because of the camouflage. Obviously, this is still far from like, ideal. Its venom is quite you slow to active, a making it not that useful when under attack. In my oh, opinion, no. the Bwemslang is the perfect example of a snake that really just needs one or two more buffs to be a high-tier build. But in its current state, it just doesn't quite get there. I don't know, bro. At the top of C tier, we have our last member of the Colibrid faction, the King Snake. The King Snake is a large snake with no these. venom based abilities. Instead, I think this I is the one first constrictor build on our list. Uh, Constriction is a type of grappling attack that, when properly executed, results a few in King a guaranteed snakes. KO, even on extremely low. Bro, I used to hate, watch, hate feeding these motherfuckers like little mice because you had to buy the mice live at, at like. Pet smart or some shit, little baby mice, and like, and then they fucking choke that shit out. Shit, that shit, that shit, that should be sad. You get it, <laughs> bro. My dad had me at like four years old doing that shit, bro. That nigga, <laughs> yo, that nigga, <laughs> that nigga. bro. There's a situation that nobody believes me, and I, I, I'm gonna take this to the grave. I don't care. You could call Cap, even Jordan. When I told him when we were kids, didn't believe me. I had bot mice 
for my I had stopped buying live ones because I didn't I, I hated seeing the live ones like hearing them squealing shit. I just, I, I just hated that shit. And I bought the frozen ones. They're whole but frozen. And one time out of like the hundred ones that I, I used to feed them all the time, right? But one of them, I forgot what year it was, I was defrosting it. I had it in the hot water in this little baggie. And I swear to God, it like came back to life. It was moving. I swear after it frosted out. It was moving and I tried to look it up like does this happen and like nobody could validate like there was nobody else that had like had that situation before and I tried to tell Jordan and Jordan would lie Jordan's like no you're lying he would not believe me bro I'm gonna call him right now see if he if he if he if he ended up ever believing me bro I swear that happened bro in my fucking bathroom in my mom's house bro and I thought I actually thought that was no yo Jordan. You you just heard the story I just told. I barely heard you. I'm on the remember? Do you remember? Wait, you're shitting? Not at this very moment, but I will be. Uh... Bro, remember when I told you about the frozen mouse? Wait, what? The frozen mouse when I was feeding one of my. Dad, hey, shut up! It was dead. Bro, Jordan, I swear to you, I swear to you, it came back to life or or something, it did bro. Come back to life. It probably just had muscle spasms. How? Like, Jordan, jo Jordan. Frozen. Jordan, I was pissed because I had to feed it to my fucking lizard, bro. Can't, like... I understand that. I know that. After you told me that, I looked it up, and niggas were saying, yeah, that's like, that hasn't happened to them. But I swear to you, that motherfucker, after it frosted, I started moving. I did this a thousand times. I, I fed the frozen rats. It never happened. But for some reason, this mouse fucking d started moving, bro. I'm not gonna lie. This is like that turtle story where you tell me that turtle was the side of the house. <laughs> no, I was just small and young. <laughs> that turtle was big as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck did I not see it? <laughs> no, that was just okay. That, that's something else. That's something else. All right, whatever. Crazy, I mean, I, I don't know what you could have. I, I don't know. You could have recorded it or some shit like that. I don't know. Whatever, bro. No, Jordan wasn't with me. I had told him about it. Jordan wasn't with me. But right after that, but I told him, he's like, nah, cap. The turtle shit, bro. So when I was younger, my dad used to take me to go see like the biggest turtles in the world or whatever, right? But I was like four, I was like five years old. And to me, Seeing them, it was big as fuck. So when I, me, five years old, going to Jordan, who was like five years old too, I'm like, bro, Jordan, right? My daddy showed me the fucking big, like the, the turtles are like the size of the house, bro. The, the turtles are so fucking, they're like the size of houses and cars. Bro, I was just smaller, bro. I didn't like, bro, it wasn't the size of a fucking house, bro. Large targets. Its main drawback is that this attack strategy is highly vulnerable to disruption. A constrictor player has to be able to survive all counterattacks from its target while attempting to restrain it. So with that said, you'd think it'd be I'm very dead, difficult to use this technique bruh. against a venomous snake, right? Snakes are so flexible that it's very difficult Jesus. to grapple them without giving them an easy opportunity to bite back. That's I'm where flexible. the snake's second ability, Venom Resistance, comes in. The ability to ignore all damage from a snake's venom makes the king snakes matchup against other snakes horribly one-sided. Just for good measure, king snakes. So have even though these motherfuckers don't got no venom, they still on time and they constrict and they got immunity. The venom resistance comes in. The they got immunity so they can fade other snakes. Oh yeah, they cooling. They don't need venom because one, they're immune and they could be constricting. They got special defense high. They got good special defense. My just got good special defense. The ability to ignore all damage from a snake's venom makes the king snakes matchup against other snakes horribly well, one-sided. Just for good sense. measure, king snakes have high enough accuracy on their attacks <laughs> Damn. that they tend to go for the head, which negates a snake's counterattack potential even further. Damn. This is about where the king snake's supremacy ends, though, as the rest of its matchups are pretty standard for a snake, and with no venom of its own, it doesn't pose much of a threat to players it can't reliably immobilize. Yo, that bird fucking end ago, Luckily, bro. there's a pretty simple change a constrictor build can make in order to increase the effectiveness of its constriction. Size. Yup. Size. B tier. Go up. Let's and go. Pythons are yep. the poster children for this type of strategy, yep. being the only snake builds that can be properly classified as tanks. Damn. While technically these are two different factions, they are functionally extremely similar and both contain specific examples of highly Look effective at that distance, snakes. Bro. Although boas and pythons have no venom, their large teeth and Jeez. incredibly high physical stats fuck that make them more big. than a match for just about any player that challenges them directly. With their thick scales and huge size, it's very difficult to defeat one of these in a 1v1 quickly. Yeah. Their ability to tank a lot of hits during a fight means that even extremely powerful builds like the tiger are in Holy for quite an uphill shit. battle if they choose to stand and fight. 
Yeah, me personally, I wouldn't I, I wouldn't go 1v1. One of them. I would have pulled up with like one of the homeboys son shit. 2v1 that motherfucker. He could solo squad if you if you think he a badass. I don't give a fuck. I'm hungry, nigga. All that build about? with high defense and, and DPS, I'm like the crocodilian faction. Everybody eat. are easily overcome with brute strength. Once what? a boa or python uses their piercing fangs the... and powerful coils to trap them fuck. in an infinite grab combo. Drawbacks to the constriction infinite strategy are grab combo. To third party attacks and the immense cost of failed kills. Yoink. While many constrictors have the size required to challenge other large builds, going after too powerful a target can expend a disproportionate amount of HP compared to other snakes. Yep. As large builds are often more conspicuous, the most successful constrictor players will make good use of the camouflage ability. Mm-hmm. Anaconda, the yo, these factions, bitches get The most powerful build big. is without a doubt the Anaconda. These bitches get These are among big. the heaviest of any snake and by far the big. heaviest with an HP stat that renders most physical attacks almost negligible. Jesus. While Anacondas are- Look at that HP. An HP stat that renders most physical- Look at that HP, bro. Attacks almost negligible. While Anacondas are significantly less viable on land due to their greatly reduced speed on terrestrial maps, their mobility, stealth, and camouflage bonuses in the aquatic meta make them nearly unbeatable in that biome. Uh, Anacondas are capable okay. of serious speed when their buoyancy abilities can counteract the limitations of their enormous size making nearly any unsuspecting player who enters the water an easy target. Yep. Their eyes and noses are oriented towards the top of their faces, allowing them to expend minimal energy while camouflaged in aquatic mm -hmm. vegetation, waiting for the perfect opportunity to carry out an ambush attack. Despite That's their formidable crazy. base stats and proficiency in highly specialized forms of gameplay, the fact that anacondas are only truly viable in aquatic environments limits their utility and places them squarely in B tier. Okay. Okay. The most Burmese. competitive build in the Python faction Burmese was the Burmese Python. Python. Then, oh, While many snake guy. builds are competitively viable only on certain maps that suit their specialized abilities, Look how this motherfucker Burmese slither. Pythons fit into more of a jack-of-all-trades playstyle and have sufficient mobility in aquatic, terrestrial, and arboreal biomes, in spite of their large size. Burmese Pythons are therefore excellent Jesus generalist Christ. builds, and as seen with many other fuck, generalists, they have been causing Wait, serious a... disruption in Tickle? servers that they weren't meant to be spawning in. Burmese Pythons have totally destabilized the meta of the Florida Everglades, due mostly to the Pythons' extremely one-sided matchup against non-social mammal builds, and a lack of the type of builds that normally keep the Python player base in check. Now, thankfully, the current top tier of the Everglades is quite capable of defeating or repelling a python in single combat. Jesus Christ! But because the alligator's dominance is restricted to the aquatic zones, pythons essentially have complete control of the arboreal zone, yep, yep. which has led to a drastic reduction in players oh. running mammal builds like the rabbit, raccoon, fox, and bobcat. While Burmese pythons come in at the top of B tier due to their versatility, bro, niggas saying running rabbit builds, bro. Their low speed stat and lack of venom makes higher tier snakes much more oh, viable yeah, choices no for venom. most gameplay styles. <laughs> most gameplay While style. some snake builds Yo, in lower tiers the can use up. the venom skill, placement in A tier or higher rides almost exclusively on choosing to dump a majority of evolution points into maximizing venom efficiency and delivery methods. Mm -hmm. Members of the Viper class dominate the A tier. Among the God most feared damn. builds in the game, That's all you Vipers do. have a variety of special That's all you offensive do. and sensory skills that help compensate for their generally low defense stats. Yep, they're hyper their offense. Their long, hyper offense. are placed at the front of their mouths and can pierce most armor to deliver lethal doses of venom. But one drawback to the flesh-destroying hemotoxins used by most builds in this group is that they can take a while to immobilize players. Yeah, that's the thing. Most so you gotta, like, stalk them for a little minute. into the infrared heat sensing ability, making them extremely powerful nocturnal infrared? ambush attackers and compensating for their lack of speed. Bro, Some these motherfuckers got a thermal scope in their fucking eyes, bro. Members of the Viper faction tack on tail adaptations too for access to the intimidation oh, and luring shit. abilities. Oh shit, that's crazy. These that's actually insane. I actually thought that was a bug. Tail adaptations too for access to the intimidation and luring abilities. But these perks are minor compared to their raw offensive potential. That's, that's actually kind of OP. Coming in at the bottom of A tier are Gaboon Vipers, combining the highest Pokemon defense stat song. of any venomous build with near unbeatable stealth and an incredibly high strike speed. That stealth is insane, bro. A venomous build with near unbeatable stealth and an incredibly high strike speed. Despite their bulky appearance, Gaboon Vipers are almost invisible to spot during gameplay Holy and are notorious shit. for destroying unsuspecting players due to the what sheer the volume of venom delivered during an attack, despite their relatively underpowered toxicity compared to other Vipers. With the longest fangs of any viper, they can Holy deal significant shit. physical piercing damage in addition to any toxic effects caused by the venom. They conserve energy by remaining motionless when not in combat, and are rather difficult to provoke into unnecessary confrontation, 
While Gaboon Vipers are an excellent choice for ambushed base play in jungle maps, their lack of versatility and low aggression means they can be easily outmaneuvered by other builds. Oh, okay. Cotton Cotton Mouth, these motherfuckers is dead. Hurt these motherfuckers is bad. The skill set of the Viper class effectively in the aquatic realm. As the only Viper build in the game with aquatic adaptations, mm -hmm. their potent venom and fish-shaped fangs make them incredibly effective at farming out fish and frog players for farming easy Farming out fish? Do you hear this these into terminology, the bro? ability at lower levels, what the hell allowing is that? them to quickly become competitive and shed this ability at higher levels in favor of better camouflage. Cottonmouths are also relatively tanky and escape many combat Holy situations shit. by using intimidation tactics. Their dominance in aquatic maps makes them able to occasionally overcome more competitive generalist builds, but this is limited by biome and therefore not useful during the majority of gameplay. Okay. Rattlesnake. Rounding out A tier is the rattlesnake. <laughs> Best suited for desert and forest biomes, these mm -hmm. snakes combine a variety of overpowered special abilities with well allocated base stats. Rattlesnakes are highly capable builds for ambush based stealth play Shit. due to their ability to create thermal maps of other players in low visibility situations, mm. which makes them one of the most effective counters for mammal players with the night God. vision ability. Damn. Instead of risking health by grappling with other players, gotta bite that rattlesnakes deliver a lethal amount of venom in one quick strike yep. and then use their prey tracking yep. ability to find them after That's they succumb to toxic status. That's a dead bunny flop! Nice. One major advantage for rattlesnake players is the highly effective rattle intimidation technique. Yep which allows them to scare off more powerful challengers without wasting venom or risking serious damage. While rattlesnakes sit at the top of A tier due to their relatively well-rounded stats among members of the Viper clan. That's like me, but like without like in your blood, like let's say hypothetically, right? We had a wire gene meetup and like I punch one of y'all. Off the rip, you're not going like fatality KO. It's going to be BOOM! Slowly, one by one, your organs start to fail, your heart, your liver fails, kidney fails, your, your fucking heart stops, and, like, your brain just, like, slowly, slowly. It's not gonna be automatic. You're gonna feel that. And then, one by one, each one of your organs just, hmm, just shut down. That's kind of like how the venom works. All Viper builds are still classified as glass this shit point, and tend uh, to this lose out against chat. opponents this shit with acting venom, superior speed, or high enough HP to tank their attacks. S -tier, Snake builds placing the S tier overcome the weaknesses of other tier. venom users by maxing out mobility stats and employing a variety of highly effective venom delivery techniques. Okay. The most competitively viable snakes Tip spend into heavily neurotoxic venom, Corpus looks granting so them the ability to inflict toxic damage and status effects far more Squirrels quickly are than so lower tier venom quick, bro. While these buffs come at the cost of base defense, yeah. S tier snakes are only really weak to the rare few players with venom resistance or effective bite evasion skills. Coming up first in S tier is the Cobra build. With impressive base speed, these snakes can actively chase down other players rather than bro, having to solely rely fat, on the ambush bro. strategy. Variants of the Cobra build can spec into moderate aquatic and climbing proficiency, allowing mm -hmm. for particularly well-rounded gameplay. Okay. Their fast-acting venom is mostly neurotoxic, but can have mixed toxic effects that melt through flesh and maximize the amount of pain Jesus inflicted. Jesus Christ. Even elephant players, the tankiest elephant terrestrial players. build in the entire game, can be taken down by the ridiculous amount of sheer toxic damage oh, inflicted hell no. He's by a well-placed bite. While all Cobra builds have forward-placed fangs to maximize venom delivery, Spitting Cobra players can use the only ranged attack in the entire snake Holy class shit. by spraying venom up to 2 meters through holes at the front of their fangs. This move has high accuracy Leave and can permanently blind bro. other players when used effectively. Cobra builds advertise their power by using a unique hood modification, intimidating hood. the vast majority of players away from trying to challenge them in the first place. With enough mm -hmm. offensive capabilities to take on an entire team of attackers at once, it's no question that Cobras are one of the Yo. most competitively viable builds Watch in out, this faction. Sea Next snake. in S tier are Sea yeah, Snakes. I'm not yeah, you're not fucking with what it is, bro. With aquatic adaptations and special underwater sensory skills, these what builds the fuck? can access hard to reach areas to demolish even the most competitive fish players. Their fangs are relatively small compared to the closely related Cobra builds. But this works in conjunction with a special attack style. Their venom is some of the deadliest in the game, but causes almost no pain, meaning that oh, other players shit. may not even know they've been hit before fatal toxic damage sets in. Oh, that's While they are fucked. effective at using trickster tactics to take down enemies independently, trickster C players can also tactics. hunt in teams to capitalize on their own offensive potential nah, they and compensate for low individual They chewed up in a duo! This build does have a bit of a high skill floor though, and inexperienced players may struggle at playing around the Sea Snake's defensive weaknesses. 
The Sea Snake build has a unique playstyle that can be hard to master. Plot Holy with the ability shit. to 1v1 eels and win. This build sits Bro, at look at that movement while fighting, bro. I ain't gonna lie, that, that, that would be a hard build to master. That would 100% be a hard build to master. I struggle at playing around the Sea Snake's defense. But once you master it, who's holding you? Weaknesses. The Sea Snake build has a look unique playstyle that can be hard to master. Look at this playstyle. But style. with the ability to 1v1 eels and win, this build sits at the top for those who enjoy a challenge. Black the final Mamba. build on this tier list is the Black Mamba. With incredibly overpowered base stats for their class, including... Holy shit. This nigga is a fucking demon. Look at the fucking attack stat. No swords dance needed, chat. None of that. damage and speed. The Black Mamba is by far the most competitive snake, both in terrestrial and arboreal combat situations. Their speed isn't just RP with respect Kobe to movement. God. The lethal venom of the Black Mamba shit. takes effect extremely quickly and can decimate what? enemies of any size no way. into the no high way that dose quick. delivered in each bite. Black Mamba Venom imposes a variety of neurological status effects, including respiratory failure and vision loss, making Yo. them one of the most feared opponents in direct combat. Mamba builds have an extremely aggressive and fast-paced playstyle oh, that the leaves hell? little room for counterplay, especially considering that their HP oh, and defense shit. stats are among the highest yeah, of any yeah, like, This is a waste of time. Just dip out. Songs. Just dip out, shuddy. While they don't have any unique moves to speak of, Black Mambas dominate by using strategies common among snake players, and do so to an exceptionally effective degree. Topping the charts with the highest DPS potential of any snake and respectable defensive skills to boot, Shit. the Black Mamba is the undisputed ruler of snake builds. Oh, Snakes are by shit. no means meta-defining, but it's still worth knowing how they stack up against each other and what their main strengths and weaknesses mm -hmm. are. Mm -hmm. There's a lot more to snakes than just their general combat abilities, though. Mm -hmm. How do snakes deal with cold damage? How can snakes climb trees so easily without claws or How do pads? they do if with If you're really damage. interested in knowing all the ins and outs of the snake build, good. I highly recommend checking out this video's sponsor, Curiosity Stream. They have this excellent it's documentary called damage, The Secret bro. Lives of Snakes, which answers Romation? a lot of questions I didn't that even is true, know I that's had true, about that's snakes. True. How long it goes into way more depth than I have time shit. for here on YouTube. And hey, speaking of videos that don't fit neatly hey, into my w. YouTube channel, did you know that I have a Nebula series called Let's Play Outside? This is a W. Plus, let me have that. That was fire. Chat put me on, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, we gotta have one tier zoo vid every every stream, bro. We gotta have one tier zoo vid every stream, bro. That's fire. I already know, like, the human one probably crazy. Like, we run this bitch, bro. We run this bitch. Even though we're not, like, physically capable of certain things on this planet like we just kind of op our brain is just op bro i do wish we had more power though like having a, a w brain is fire that is fire and shit i do wish we had a little bit more you know a little bit more cool powers you know said i'm on three plus right now if i'm being honest hope my feelings shoot out like a rocket niggas thought they had the swag but i'm really honest look at you just window shopping that new bag i bought